This is Jackie Barrow. She lives in the village of Diggle near Oldham. She also happens to be a teacher with a difference. So boys, today I was going to ask you, do you know what this sign is for? Because her pupils aren't here on the edge of the Pennines, they're in a classroom thousands of miles away on a different continent. Four years ago, Jackie was one of the first people to join a project that matches volunteers willing to teach with children who are hungry to learn. Hi. Hi, Hi boys. <laughs> For at least one hour a week, she speaks with a group of disadvantaged children in India via Skype. Children she's never met. This is Anita who's with us today. Do you want to say hello to Anita? Hello. <laughs> hello. I know these two boys very well. Can you wave to us, Mangesh? Hi, this is Ravi on the right. The point of the project, affectionately dubbed the Granny Cloud, is to improve their English and raise their expectations of what they can achieve. Do you want a story today, boys? Yeah. Can you read the title here? <laughs> Good. When you boxing, you could say Biff, Bop, Biff. In Hindi, you have dishum, dishum, dishum. <laughs> Jackie used to be a secondary school teacher, but in 2006, she suffered a heart attack and was forced to take early retirement. How old were you when you had the heart attack? Uh, 55, and I had no warning. I just was in a state of shock. You've come across this project, Granny Cloud, even though you're not a <laughs> granny. No, I did. I fessed up right at the beginning. <laughs> There was um, an article asking for volunteers for this project and it was asking for people to be surrogate grannies to read stories to children in India. This one, yeah, hockey. 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 I think because I retired early and I you? obviously have got skills that I developed during my working life, to find something that I could use those skills was very exciting and, and, and rewarding. What do you get from it? You see these children in their wonderful smiling faces and they're so enthusiastic always that very quickly you sort of get involved in what's going on. The fact that they log on week after week after week makes you feel that they must, they must value it. Boys, how do you like Jackie? What do you think of Jackie? They both are chi, Hanna? Yeah. Yeah, you're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's very loving. Very loving. Oh. Do you get to learn much about the boys, about where they live or what schools they go to, anything like that? Or I know that they live in a slum mm. not far from where the centre is. So, But other than that, my role is bringing something from the outside to, to share with them. But the kids are about to get the surprise of their life as their next session with Jackie will be in person in India. To walk into a room and, and meet them is just going to be fantastic. Forget Jack and Ori, this is Jackie's story. <laughs> it's great. And her excitement is already outgrowing her suitcase. I was going to put all the things I'm taking for the kids in my hand luggage, but you can see it's come over the top <laughs> already. In the past, I've shown them things that I do, and I do felting. Mm. And hopefully I'm going to teach them how to do felting. They've seen a lot of photographs of where I live, but I've put them all together in a book. And I think you're about to have a life-changing experience. Well, I hope so. I yeah. think so. I think so too. <laughs> Wish you were coming with us. Uh, I wish I was, but you don't need me. You're going to be fine. You can go it alone. Next time, Jackie's arrival in India is met with great excitement. But does it all become too much? I feel sick. I'm so scared. 